Hey guys, Jay here. So because I do CMVs and the steady camera means I need a, a good camera stabilizer, uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a review of one on this channel because I use them for the channel. So I figured why not? Um, so today we're going to be reviewing the Pro-Am USA Autopilot uh, Steadicam type thing. It's basically just a camera stabilizer, just like any others. Um, but I will tell you right now, if you don't want to hear the reasons for the either recommend or don't recommend that I'm about to tell you, I'm going to tell you them first so that if that's what you wanted to hear and you don't want to hear the reasons behind it, you just want a, de a definitive yes or no, no. <laughs> the answer is do not buy this one. I've already left them a pretty hefty response about how bad it is, um, and basically that I can't think of, I can't imagine what was going on in their minds when they thought of some of the stuff that they did with this. It is the dumbest things that I've ever seen, and they make it physically unusable. Like, you can't physically use the damn thing. So, um, we're going to be talking about why and all that stuff. So, if that's all you wanted to hear, then there you go. You can click out of the video if you want, whatever. Um, but if you do want to stick around and hear the rest, uh, here's all the reasons. All right, so uh, this is the Steadicam thing, the uh, autopilot, whatever you want to call it. I call them Steadicams because uh, Glidecam is the number one place to get these from, and they're called Steadicams by them. So I'm just used to that. Um, so you'll probably hear me call it that a lot, and anytime I ever use one, you'll probably hear me say Steadicam. Uh, what I mean is just a generic stabilizer in general. So um, the first thing uh, about this um, that was that caught my eye that was good was the giant plate on top. Uh, that m made it easier to find the center balance and all that kind of stuff. The only problem is this one is garbage. It's like, it's supposed to be like, it's like a, a metal type thing, but it's really just thick aluminum, honestly. And it's not very good. Um, it doesn't like to stay in place very well. And I don't know, it just it doesn't stay balanced when you put it on there, um, no matter what I do. Um, another thing is my Nikon, which is, I got my Nikon back from Atlas. Um, and this is about the same weight as this stabilizer in without the weights on it. This, without the weights, is what it told me to use for anything roughly a, a pound and a half to two pounds. This is a pound and seven ounces, like 1.7 pounds or something like that. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's 1.7 pounds. I converted it and found out myself um, from the official weight of the camera. So yeah, it's a going on two pounds, which uh, under, tw under two pounds, it said did not use any weights. That doesn't do anything. So it's too light to use with this Nikon. But if I add one weight on each side, like it says for the next highest up, it's too heavy for the camera. So it is a completely wasted product and you can't use it with any generic cameras. Uh, any starter camera, anyone who's just starting out and wants a nice price, this was a good price, it was $150. Anyone who wants something that's a good price, that's not one of those $500 glide cams, they're gonna go for this and they're gonna think it's amazing because they don't know what they're doing. But I know what I'm doing and it sucks. So um, one of the worst problems is if I push this forward, this is forward, so forward. Um, if I push this forward with the camera on it, for some reason, even if it's balanced straight, even if it's balanced straight, if I put this forward, it'll lean to the right, which doesn't make any sense. That literally defies physics. So they've built this thing in a way that makes it seem like it's defying physics and doesn't work correctly. So it's, and it's probably this plate here. Now, why would it be that plate there? Well, let's take a look. So, you can usually unlock. So there's this little thing to unlock, but you might have seen that already. It turns, and it doesn't even lock in place. It just turns. So it's near impossible to get that thing straight, but then you would lengthen it out, and it just comes right out. Yeah, doesn't lock in place. Uh, to a certain position, like it doesn't just stay straight or it doesn't like to stop over here so you can have it one of the two directions. Nope, just kind of goes wherever it wants. So it'll be crooked a lot of the time. And it's, like I said, near impossible to make sure it's straight. So you might be able to see, yeah, that's crooked. So 
you have to straighten it out again and it loosens it and every time you try to loosen and straighten it out it just when you when you try to press this lever down and stuff you you move the thing and it undoes it again and it's again a cricket again that's it's already cricket so yeah that's that's pretty bad um other than that the weird part okay so uh before i guess before i get to the weird part i should show you these are the weights so uh they gave me eight of them and one on each side like i said is too heavy for that camera so basically if you don't have like a 70d or an 80d or anything more uh heavy than that this is pretty much a waste of money um and i don't even know how well these are going to work on those cameras because these weights are garbage there's another thing about these weights and i'll show you that here in just a second if i can get one there so we got one weight put that down we're going to unscrew the thing that holds the weights on and i don't even have to really do much to hold this because it's so light my other stabilizer, the one that I was uh, selling to um, Atlas, which I'm probably not going to now because I need one now, um, that one uh, is already itself heavier than this, and this is bigger. So, all right, so we take off the piece there, put the weight on, and then this is a lot harder to do sitting like this. All right, so we've got the weight on. Cool. Okay, so, tighten that up. Okay, can't tighten it any more than that. That's pretty tight. So, this is going to be difficult. Here's the weight. Might have to hold this a little better. Here's the, here's the weight. Oh, see, that already just moved the plate instead. But, the weights just easily shift. Look how easy that is. Now, they just shift all over the place. So moving around with it, that's just moving the weight by itself. That wasn't even unscrewing it. So if that hits anything by accident, you're going to have to recalibrate the entire thing all over again and figure out where the weight needs to be again. That's terrible. That's terrible design. So um, that along with the, the spinning uh, bottom piece makes it physically impossible to balance it. And I actually tried, I had an unboxing of this where I was trying to open it and put that down. And, or while I, while I was trying to um, not open it, but where I, where I was trying to uh, balance it on camera and it physically would not balance. Like no matter what I did, the slightest adjustment would just throw everything else off. If I, if I finally got it left and right straight, uh, and but it was back and forward heavy or like like say it was back heavy like I was telling you before at the beginning if it was back heavy uh, I would push it forward a little bit and it would go forward a little bit but then it would tilt to the right for some reason and that was physically making it impossible to balance so it was already balanced left to right it should be only front to back that I need to balance well if I balance front to back it throws off the, the left to right again for no reason so there's something in the design of this thing that makes it physically impossible to use I uh, don't know what it is. They have their video that shows how to do it or whatever. Um, I did watch some reviews and other people seem to be able to do something at least. But they also have different cameras, bigger rigs, uh, mo like thousand something dollar cameras. You know, and the, the beginner like like me or, or maybe even you if you're a beginner, you're going to have a really bad time with this thing. So I would suggest not getting it at all. Just stay far away from it. If you guys want a good one, go down to the description. The one I had that I'm going to be keep using or whatever, the one that Atlas has right now that I'm going to continue using that one is way better and i would really recommend that one instead for beginners so for the end of this there's actually one more piece that is very confusing to me i don't know why and they gave me this this little plate here this isn't in the instruction manual like this doesn't exist in the instruction manual i looked there's like four or five pages and this isn't on any of them it's also not on their calibrating video, which means nobody's using this. However, this is physically impossible to use. So you'd put this on a camera. You can see it has a level on it up there. It's kind of hard to see. 
but there's a level on it right there. So that would go on the back so that you can see if your camera's level or not. It kind of defeats the purpose to have it on the front. You can't see it under the lens. So it's meant for the back. So you put it on the back and then, wait, what's that? That lever there. You probably can't see that. There's a lever. This big old lever here. You can adjust it where it goes, but that lever there goes directly under the grip. What? Why would you put it there? First off, you should put it on the other side so that it's not being touched by the grip and being stopped, which means you can't unscrew it enough because you need to screw, unscrew it a certain amount of, to of uh, like degrees before the plate can slide back out. So it's physically impossible to, sl to turn this enough with the grip on top of it. And even if you could, when you move the plate left to right, you have to move, every single camera has to move to the right on a stabilizer. So this would not be stable at all. Obviously this would be uh, heavy on the right side. So it would do this. So you'd push everything over this way. Well, this bottom plate here is also gonna be in the way. Which means, if this is on there, let's just put it on there anyway. If this is on there, and this plate is in the way, it can't turn down or up. It's physically impossible, stop moving. It's physically impossible to use this piece. But that came with it for some reason, I don't know why. Um, it, it was just in there. There was actually a slot for it in, in the box. There was a slot that that piece was sitting in. Like it belonged with it but you can't use it. So anyway, that is pretty much it for this review. Uh, there's a ton of reasons why it's terrible and I've pretty much given you all of them. Uh, just don't buy it basically. Buy the one that's in the description if you really want a cheap one. It's also only like 70 bucks, unless they change the price by the time I get this out. But anyway, that is it for this review. If you guys like this, go ahead and hit that like button and I would appreciate it if you guys would share this video around so that other photographers and videographers who don't know about this can share it to their friends and all that kind of stuff so that uh, people can see. And anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you guys later.